From this day forward, I vow to love you and care for you. I promise to be patient, always honest and compassionate. <laughs> I take you with all your strengths and faults, as I offer myself to you with all my strengths and faults. I will be your best friend, your loyal companion. And I promise to live a life that will honour the vows we have made and make you glad to have married me this day. I think I need a bucket. Yeah, me too. I just settled for oxygen. I think doing your own vows is so romantic, teen. I think so. Did you get a Marvel magazine? <laughs> It's like Kill Bill on acid. Yeah, we've got two weddings to get in shape full of, haven't we? You know, because it's double the wedding. Does that mean we're doing double the hymns? Because I can't be doing that come by art. Yeah, and I don't want any of them stupid reading things either. I was thinking maybe John Paul could say a few words. Me? Why not? You're the man of the house and all that. No offence, Mum, but I'd rather boil my own head. Oh! Oh! I'm so sorry. Mm. I think it's a great idea, as long as you want to say nice things about us. <laughs> well, Zaldi going to tell anyone about your sordid past, is it? Not enough hours in the day to talk about your sordid past, are the mercy. <laughs> See? There you go. You got the job already. Hey, where are you going? Upstairs. To die. Mum. <sighs> Where's your CBD going to be over? Because my pits smell like a sweat swamp. Oh, I'm going to be sick of you. Sick of you. Hey, you better get a move on with that dress, because uh, the tech age is to met, you know. Actually, I've got a fitting at four o'clock today. Four o'clock? <laughs> I think you need to make your own appointment. Yeah, well, we've got to pick two colour schemes, haven't we? Nice one, teen. I don't know what we'd do without you. I'll go get ready. Forgot what a good cook your missus is, Nev. His missus has got a name. My mistake. Yeah, get your hands over there. Don't want to be accused of not pulling me weight. Won't be the first time. Come and sit down, though. You're our guest, eh? I think I'm in someone's bad books. And me getting your band a gig sorted. Might get me a few brownie points, what do you reckon? <laughs> I reckon you don't know our mum very well. There's plenty of time for bands as education comes first. Best education I got, I got jetting round the world. Not from a book. Life's about living the dream. Hey, I remember this one time. I was rodeoing for a band back in the day. And their drummer's gone AWOL with some strip. Oh, cracking story this. And anyway, this singer's going off his head and he says, No, do you fancy filling in? Hammersmith Apollo, 2000 sellout. Uh, let me think about it. <laughs> But halfway through the fourth number, out of nowhere, this drummer dives at me, lamping me. I go flying, he picks up the sticks, carries all my nothings out. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah, especially those two groupies I bagged later that night. Exhibit A, my lord. <sighs> Are you sure you two are related? Yeah, well, music was never your dad's thing, was it, Nev? Actually, we went to a gig two weeks ago. Yeah? Who'd you see? Andy Abraham. Don't worry, Dad. One brother's always cooler than the other. He keeps calling, but I'm just scared of what I'm going to say. Now's not really a good time. I've got to write this speech for wedding of the year. I, I'm, I'm sorry, but you're the only one I can talk to. Well, it's between you and him, isn't it, really? Yeah, but the, the way he reacted to that phone call, right, that's not normal, is it? Well, maybe normal isn't having a supermodel girlfriend, is it? Oh, yeah, my dreams. I mean, I did expect him to be a bit funny about it at first, yeah, but I didn't expect that. I didn't deserve that. Yeah, I'll get over it. What if I quit? Oh, come on, he didn't mean that. You'd tell me if there was something else, wouldn't you? Yeah, like what? I'll rephrase it. If there was someone else. You're joking, aren't you? Yeah, but it's what people do, isn't it? They're, they're, they're scared that their girlfriend or the boyfriend's gonna go elsewhere, so they go and swear themselves. I, I, I think you're reading far too much into this. I'm just sick of trying to second-guess everything. I mean, it shouldn't be like this. Yeah. It's alright. No, no, it's not. It's a mess. It's a mess and I and I don't know what I've done wrong. Come here. Oh, why won't somebody just put them out of their misery? I think you tried that once. <laughs> there's losers, there's sad pathetic losers, and then there's Max and OB. Well, I'll take it you won't be putting in an appearance then. Mind you, you've got bigger things to worry about right now. Be good to stick around, just to see their pathetic little venture die a slow and painful death. <laughs> These compensation claims, 
Sometimes you're talking crazy money. No one's getting any money out of me, crazy or otherwise. Well, you better get your dress for your court appearance, then. <laughs> it's not going to get to court. You really think I'm going to let some trailer park trash like Mercedes McQueen get the better of me? Uh, come again? I'd be the trailer park trash's mother. <laughs> That's not something I'd shout about. Oh, you've got a mouth on you, haven't you? Why don't you go back to your caravan? What? Or your council estate, or the gutter, or wherever the likes of you come from. Would either of you two mind if I film this? Because <laughs> this is quality. My daughter could have been killed in your club. You can't have everything, can you? Did you hear that? That's another zero on our Mercedes check. But she can add it to the rest. Because that's all she's getting from me. Zero. Seriously, sweetheart. I hope you've got deep pockets. Because she's going to take you to the cleaners. Pretty impressive, Nev. How many matches is it again? 879. Well, give or take. Isn't that a paper shop keeping you busy enough? It's not just a paper shop. We sell all sorts of convenience goods. Rock and roll. Hey, I'll have one of them if you pour in. What, do you want to see me ID? Uh, I'll have one as well, please, No. So, good-looking lad like you, must have a few birds on the go, eh? Ah, you know, can't complain. What about young Josh? Mm. Don't even go there, don't get on with the dad. Opposite sex are always my weakness, too. Is that why you could never find anyone to marry you? So many women, only one no. Yes. Yeah. I used to put it around a bit when I was younger as well, you know? Nev, you married the first girl you went out with. Yeah, but when all's said and done, I've got a family I love, and I wouldn't swap that for the world. Well, we all make do with a hand we're dealt, don't we? Hmm. I am never getting hitched. Being dealt a hand like this, I think I could just play with one woman. Well, that'd be selfish. So many women, only one Reese. New career move. <sighs> Student all day is equals Craig cleaning up sick. I don't get the plum jobs, don't I? I got a right speech for my sister's double wedding. We can swap if you, if you like. Yeah? Well, I'm guessing you're not here to talk about your sister's wedding. You need to sort things out with Sarah. That's our business. Yeah, it was till she came round my house. Needed a shoulder to cry on. You couldn't make it up, could you? This isn't your problem. Yeah, I get that much. Me and Sarah, we... <laughs> Every couple goes through a rough patch. You can't keep messing with people's heads, Craig. Right, you, you need to be honest with yourself. I love Sarah. Is that honest enough for you? 